Welcome to the newest installment of the Methods in Enzymology webcast series. Today you'll hear about the new Mitochondrial Function two-volume series, edited by Bill Allison and Emo Scheffler. I know Bill uh, and I know that uh, I'm very excited to see these volumes as they come out. And I've known uh, uh, Bill uh, then for more than 40 years. and. Uh, Bill is now retired, as I am, and, uh, but he knows more about uh, the field of uh, mitochondria than just about anything. And these volumes will be a true uh, uh, connoisseur's uh, version of mitochondrial function uh, uh, put together uh, from a lifetime of, of experience. This two-volume collection of methods is edited by Bill Allison with Emo Scheffler and Ann Murphy and has contributions from 200 authors. The other thing is he, he's, he's um, also got together with some young people who are, uh, and, and an older guy, Emo Scheffler, is also one of the co-authors. And Emo uh, wrote the uh, textbook on uh, mitochondria and bi on biochemistry. And he's also uh, has as a co-author Ann Murphy, uh, someone who was um, originally in the biotech area, but it was now uh, also one of these people with an encyclopedic knowledge of uh, the uh, mitochondrial um, uh, area. So it's going to be a terrific set of volumes, two volumes. The methods described in this first volume should provide researchers with techniques that can be used or modified to examine mitochondrial electron transport complexes, the location and function of iron sulfur proteins, and the detection and control of reactive oxygen species that are formed during electron transport in mitochondria. The chapters in this volume describe useful approaches that can be used directly or modified to investigate emerging areas of mitochondrial research. The authors have highlighted some of the advances in methodology that have allowed further identification of components and post-translational modifications of the mitochondrial proteome characterization of the dynamic changes in structure and movement of the organelles, as well as assessment of the functional changes of mitochondria both in health and disease. These volumes will be a true uh, uh, connoisseur's uh, version of mitochondrial function uh, uh, put together uh, from a lifetime of, of experience. We wish to thank all the contributors to these volumes and hope that the methods described will be useful in facilitating future studies in this rapidly evolving and exciting field. To learn more about these volumes, read sample chapters, and view webcasts, visit us online at elsevierdirect.com.